tens of thousands braved the rain to attend the rally called the People's Voice, the Sacred Voice. Mr. Anwar called on supporters attending the demonstration at the Kalanajaya Stadium to wear black. Initially, there was confusion over whether the rally could be held legally. Authorities eventually gave the green light on the condition that the rally was peaceful. Police also warned against any speeches that were seditious. Mr. Anwar has promised a fierce campaign for electoral reform and has promised to hold another rally on Saturday after today's successful turnout. Now, he believes he can soon produce evidence to prove that the BN government is illegitimate. Now, despite winning a simple majority allowing it to extend its 56-year rule, the BN recorded its worst performance ever. It won 133 out of 222 seats. Now, that's well below the two-thirds majority that Prime Minister Najib Razak had targeted. The opposition and several independent watchdogs have highlighted what they say are serious flaws in Sunday's polls. Channel News Asia's Malaysia Bureau Chief Melissa Go was at the Kalana Jaya Stadium and she gives us the key highlights of the rally. Dr. Johan Saravanamutu is a visiting senior research fellow at Singapore's Institute of Southeast Asian Studies, and he joins us on the line now from Penang. Dr. Johan, a huge turnout at the rally, some are saying more than 50,000. What can Anwar Ibrahim really gain? Can he gain anything from actually holding this rally? Well, I think he's drumming up support for his position about electoral fraud, and uh, it seems that there are a lot of people behind him. Uh, well, if you look at the electoral results, uh, as your reporter pointed out, uh, more than 50% of the electorate actually voted for the Pakatan Raya. So I suppose he sees this as a mandate for him to carry out this uh, drive uh, to show that there was electoral fraud. Both he and the uh, EAP leader, uh, Lim Kip Siang, are claiming that some 30 constituencies uh, had witnessed some of this electoral fraud, and they want to be on uh, to overturn the decisions in these uh, 30 seats. Now, if that happens, uh, then presumably the Pakatan Raya would have a majority of seats in Parliament. But of course, this is a very uh, legal thing. It takes a long time before this happens. In the meanwhile, I think uh, most people have accepted the results. Uh, and even the state governments, which have been won by the Pakatan Raya, have already sworn in, or as well, two of them, I think, have sworn in their Dr. Johan, you say the people have accepted the results. Anwar says, I won't quit until we reach Putrajaya. How will the international community view this rally? Will it spook investors? Sorry, uh, well, yes, I suppose to some extent one can say that I could spook uh, business interests and investors, but by and large, I think uh, people will carry on, uh, you know, business as usual, because I think the official result is that the BN is one. Until that is changed, until that is overturned, I suppose, uh, one has to accept that. And I don't think uh, the opposition leaders are saying we don't uh, accept that particular uh, formula. What they're saying is there's a possibility, there's a possibility of some electoral fraud, and should this be proven, then uh, there will be a possibility for a change in government. And Dr. Johan, you know, Anwar announced that there's going to be another rally on Saturday, maybe even uh, one, you know, in Ipoh on Friday. What right. options does the Najib government actually have in dealing with this situation right now? Well, I suppose, uh, you know, rallies, uh, as long as they're peaceful, the police have allowed them to carry on. Uh, I think uh, Najib could just sit back and just, uh, you know, uh, let, let the legal process take place. I, think. I mean, there's nothing much you can do about these things. All right, thank you.
thanks very much for sharing your thoughts there. That was Doc, Dr. Johan Saravanamutu in Penang over there. Now, in other news, earlier Channel News Asia spoke to Kairi Jamaluddin, the youth wing leader of the United